and hit record. Here we go. How's everybody doing today? So happy to be here, excited to share with you. We're going to be talking about uh, the laws of attraction. Now, I have left a Zoom link. So if anybody wants to hop on, you are more than welcome to. Um, otherwise, you can just watch live from where you're at. Okay. But I want to get started here. Hang on one second. Just trying to get my stuff all situated, which it's not cooperating. Hang on a sec. Get rid of that. And there we go. I think I'm ready. Okay. We are talking about laws of attraction tonight. Um, one of my mentors, Melody, went into really great depth of this um, just a couple of weeks ago for one of our groups, the Ascenders, and just gave so much value. And, and I felt like I really wanted to concentrate more on this. So if you are watching live or the replay, leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And here we go. Okay. Um, each and every component that makes up our life experiences is drawn to you by the powerful laws of attraction's response to the thought that you think and the story that you tell about your life, your money, your financial assets, your body, your um, state of wellness, your clarity, your flexibility, your size, your shape, your work environment, how people treat you, um, work satisfaction, and rewards. Indeed, the very happiness of your life experience in general is all happening because of the story that you tell. If you will let your dominant intention be to revise and improve the content of the story that you tell every day of your life, it is absolute promise to you that your life will become that ever improving story by the powerful law of attraction. It must be. It is the law. These are not man-made laws. These are the laws of the universe, the laws of attraction. And they do work. They absolutely do work. So don't a lot of us feel like life is so unfair sometimes. I mean, put a one in the comments if you have ever felt like that. It just, gosh, life is just so unfair. Um, you have wanted more success and you have applied yourself well, right? Doing everything that everyone said that you should do. But the success you have been seeking has been slow to come, right? You've tried very hard, especially at first, you know, to learn all the right things, to be in the right places, to do the right things, to say the right things. But often and way too often, things do not appear to be improving much at all. You know, put a two in the comments if you have ever felt like that. Now, earlier in your life, not really early, early, but earlier in your life, when you were first, you know, kind of dipping your toes into the idea of achieving success, you found satisfaction and, and satisfying expectations, satisfying the expectations of others who were laying out the rules of success, you know, the teachers, the parents, whoever was influencing you to, to get started or whatever, whoever surrounded you, seemed, they seemed so confident and convincing as they laid out all the rules of success, always be on time, always do your best, remember to work hard, always be honest, Drive for greatness. You know, go that extra mile. Uh, if there's no gain, there's no pain. Or there's no gain without pain is what I meant. And most important, 
never give up. But over time, um, over time, you're finding satisfaction from gaining the approval of those who laid out those rules as their principles of success. And no matter how hard you try, you did not yield any of it, any of the stuff that the promised results, right? Doesn't everybody promise you the moon? Join me. I've got everything. Join me. You know, it's just like, ee, ee. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just, I guess you got to laugh about it. Okay. Everybody's going to say what they need to say, I guess. I prefer being honest, honest and open. Um, anywho, uh, it's even more disheartening when you when you finally stand back and gain some perspective on the whole picture and you realize that their principles were not for the most part bringing them real success either and then to make matters even worse you began meeting others who were clearly they weren't following the rules who were achieving success apart from the formula that you had been so diligent to learn and apply. Hey, Lori, good to see you. Hey, I can see a comment. I've not seen those before. Awesome. I don't know. I must did something right, Nicholas. <laughs> anyway, um, so you found yourself asking, what is going on here, right? Can those who are working so hard be receiving so little while those who seem to be working so little are achieving so much? My expensive education hasn't paid off at all. And yet that multimillionaire dropped out of high school. My father has worked hard every day of his life. Why doesn't my hard work pay off for me the way it's supposed to? Why do so few really get rich? Well, most of us struggle to barely get by. I don't know. What do you think? When you are doing everything that you can't think of, truly trying your best to do what you have been told is supposed to bring you success and success does not come. It is easy to feel defensive, eventually even angry at those who are displaying evidence of the success that you desire. You even find yourself sometimes condemning their success simply because it's too painful to watch them living the success that continues to elude you. How frustrating, right? When you come to that place to openly condemning the financial success that you crave, not only can that financial success never, never come to you, but you are also forfeiting your God-given right to your health and happiness as well. Many, uh, many people actually come to the conclusion, it's an incorrect conclusion, that others in their physical environment have banded together in some sort of conspiracy to keep them from succeeding. Or they, they believe it with all their heart that they have done everything possible to achieve success. The fact that is, it, it would seem to appear that some unfriendly forces are at work that are depriving you of what you desire, what, I got to tell you, I have to reassure you that that is not true. It is not true. Nothing like that is at, um, 
the heart of absence of what you desire, the presence of things you would like to remove from your experiences. No one ever has or ever could have pretended, or I'm sorry, prevented your success or provided your success. It is all up to you. It is all in your control. And I'm telling you, your success can be in your deliberate conscious control. It can be. And I am, I am quoting out of this book right now. This is the book that I'm reading right now. Money and the Law of Attraction. I have listened to this many times on aud audio. I just ordered this book like a month ago. I just picked it up to start reading it here, not even two days ago. And I thought, oh my God, this stuff is, is so true, so good. And I want to continue with this book on my Wellness Wednesday. I'm not gonna read from it, but I am going to tell you what it says. Oh my goodness, it is so eye-opening. Okay, we have to, um, we, if it's meant to be, it is up to me. It, it absolutely is, it is up to no one else. Absolutely. Nobody is deterring you from succeeding. Nobody is sticking their foot out and hoping you'd trip. Go, well, maybe. <laughs> I have seen people do that. Not even funny, but it, it doesn't matter what other people do to you. It doesn't matter how they can try to bring you down, how they can be um, jealous because you're, you're doing okay or you're doing well. None of that matters, okay? None of that matters. We need to maintain our focus, laser sharp focus and everything else just goes by the wayside. You don't even give it a thought. And I'm serious about that because you think that's funny, Lori, I'm, I'm dead serious. And this is true. It absolutely is true. The laws of the universe work for us. They don't try to hurt us. They don't do things to us. Our, um, our vibration, I'm going to get a lot into the vibration, the vortex, uh, you know, your, your true alignment, your true inner being. This all makes such perfect sense to me. The laws of the universe, they are consistent, they are reliable, and they hold always the promise of expansion. If I have not experienced anything in these last, in this last year, I have experienced huge growth, huge growth. And see, what people are missing is you cannot hit that level of success where you currently are. It takes a different version of you. It takes a different version of you. It's a process that we all have to go through. We all have to grow to get to that point. It is mind blowing. If you really, really sit and think, you know, and, and it's hard to maintain, it is very hard to maintain that. I don't know if you guys watch Abraham Hicks, you know, Esther and Jerry and the whole crowd. I love them. I listen to them every day when I'm getting ready for work. I just, I love it. And it makes so much sense to me. And that. And Melody's 30 day accountability and doing that book club like I did, the science of getting rich, my life has changed so much. I am not the same person I was a year ago. I am not. Melody, speak of the little angel. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetheart? Thank you for hopping on. Um, so 
I just got a lot out of starting to read this book and I really, really want to share this with you. So I think I am going to continue this book for, you know, a few more Wellness Wednesdays and just see how that goes. Um, what our mentors teach us is when, when you learn anything, something that betters your life, we need to share that with other people. You know, if we keep that firm for ourselves and think, ah, I got it, they don't have it, I got it. It's not going to do you any good. I'm telling you, I have found that out the hard way. We have to, we have to bring others with us. We have to share everything that we learn and just hope and pray that they will, you know, hear something. You know, that's all I can hope for. Most people naturally assume that, like I said, if life is not going your way, there's these huge outside forces that are, they're all congregating, they're all trying to figure out how can we keep this little shit down, you know, uh, she ain't going nowhere. No, it's a negative, it's a huge negative repercussion to believing that something outside of you is the reason for your own lack of success. When you give the credit or the blame to another for your success or lack of it, you are powerless, absolutely powerless to make any change. Um, so if your perspective is you are not currently experiencing it at many deep levels of your being, okay, you you got to recognize that something is wrong. That is the hardest wake up call. Something is wrong and it has nothing to do with anybody else. Our biggest competition is right there in the mirror. It's easy to blame others. Your emotional discomfort is definitely evidence that something is wrong, okay? We need to look at ourselves first, always. We can't, we can't blame anybody because if it's meant to be, it is up to me. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do today. I am gonna open this up just because Nicholas, thank you, dear heart, joined me live on the Zoom here um, because I wanted other people to share. Um, if you got anything out of this, if you have something to add to it, I'm open ears. I would love to hear it. So I'm going to give Nicholas a chance if he'd like. Yeah, of course. I would love to speak up. Uh, thank you so much for doing this, uh, this topic. Uh, you did an amazing call. And I so appreciate your, uh, how do I say this? Your, that you're being genuine, you're being open, you're being honest, and you're speaking from your heart. And I love this topic because... Uh, Two things that came to my mind while you were talking about the universal laws is that first off, we have to realize that I can't, okay, I can't speak for everyone. I'm going to speak for myself. When I started reading these laws, um, I started to realize that they were true. I could believe in them. And that is amazing. We, we, the second thing that happened was that I realized that and when you started starting to read about these laws, you realize that, how do I say this? Um, you know, that there is, there is infinite opportunity for everyone. And you're not stuck. 
we just have to think in a certain way. There's, uh, there's enough opportunity for everyone. Uh, we, don't, we do not have to live with a, you know, competitive or fixed mindset. We then do not have to, you know, for me to win, you know, someone else has to lose. There's enough for everyone. And uh, I, I, I'm so grateful that I learned that. And another thing that I was thinking about while uh, you, talked, you talked about, you know, people sending messages to you about join my business, join this, join that. I actually, I want to, um, uh, you know, add to this. I love it when people pitch me. I love it when people come to me. And you know what, why? Because I, I become genuinely happy for them. Because if you think about it, we are doing the same thing. Uh, we, we talk to other people about what we're doing. Uh, if we don't talk about it, no one's going to know about it. So I became, become genuinely happy because they have found something just like I have that they're passionate about. And I tell them that. I also, if I'm not, if I can't take on anything, anything new, I tell them that. But, you know, genuinely happy to hear other people being as, you know, inspired as we are. I love that. And... Um, and another thing that I thought about as well, which was really interesting, I think you talked about that sometimes it can feel that life is unfair. Uh, I felt that many times. Uh, I don't feel that anymore. I did. I felt that, um, you know, earlier in my life. And I also felt that even if I didn't do, uh, you know, the work, I, uh, you know, I was still entitled to the re reward. Um, so, but I don't feel like that anymore because I realized that we have to think in a certain way. We have to act in a certain way. Uh, you know, what is it? It says in the science of getting rich, which is another book. Uh, it says that you can, you can only write fully receive yours when it reaches you. If you, what is it? Help me out there. It's a good quote, and you have to think, think in a certain way, but you also have to take action towards what you want. Otherwise, you cannot rightfully receive it. So that's all I get. Thank you so much, Lisa. That's all you got. You're amazing, Nicholas. I love your perception. I'm telling you, I have seen so much growth in you. Holy smokes. Amazing. You, you are just like this cocoon i mean you're just this butterfly spreading your wings god i so wish you were going to conference <laughs> we'd have thank so you so much, much lisa i see that in you as well my friend thank it's you. amazing yeah it is we it, you know what i love this i absolutely love doing stuff like this and i don't i don't always like to put myself out there so that I'm the butt of jokes or the, the one that learned last or, or whatever. I am, you know, yeah, it is a little bit embarrassing uh, that I'm not on the very top yet. But you know what? As I explained, we have to reach a certain level of us in order to be able to handle that kind of wealth, that kind of prosperity, that kind of abundance. You will not maintain it. I would not maintain it at the level where I am now. I absolutely, though, am growing. I'm getting there. I absolutely am. And, and life is so much happier when we understand that nobody is doing anything to us. It is all us. It's all us. So take a look in the mirror. Say something. Say something to yourself. And then... Do it two or three, four, five, six times a day. Look in the mirror and say it. I don't chase. I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. Whatever it takes for your affirmation, whatever you need, do that. 
Okay, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Uh, I apologize for the lengthiness in this, but Nicholas, you added tremendous value, buddy. Thank you so much. All right, bye guys. Thank you, bye-bye.